Welcome back to TV5 News at 9. It's now time for one of our favorites, Saginaw Celebrate Summer. And joining us this morning for our one-stop guide to everything arts and culture, our great friend, uh, Marsha Braun and Demetria Scott. Both of you, thanks for being here with us. Thank you. Good morning. We're yes. happy to be here on this beautiful summer morning. I know. Isn't it just like the perfect weekend, the perfect Friday? Uh, so the Saginaw Choral Society is bringing back its Root Beer Choir. Tell us a little bit about that one. Uh, this is a really fun event. Um, it's the Root Beer Choir. They also do an event called the Beer Choir for adults, but nice. this is geared toward children and families, and it's at the Saginaw Zoo, so you can bring the whole family, and it's basically a sing-along. Oh, they provide everything. It's with the Saginaw Youth Choir, and so their directors are there. They'll provide music and song, she song sheets. That's a tongue twister. <laughs> There's musical games uh, for the kids, and then, of course, when it's all wrapped up, the big draw are the root beer floats. Oh, and, nice. Uh, it's a free root beer float. The whole the whole event starts at 11 a.m. That's awesome. And it is free with your zoo admissions. So. Cool. What kind of songs do the kids usually sing? Oh, they sing everything. Demetrius and I are actually, we're going to go. Yes, we're oh, nice. Yes. Um, it's on Tuesday, the okay. 18th, like I said, 11 a.m., and we decided this year we're going to walk over and we're going to mm -hmm. participate. We're going to act like kids. That's going to be but fun. They sing all kinds of, you know, kids' favorites, yeah. things that they're familiar yeah. with, you know, McDonald, and then there's some other ones that. So, like the classics. Yeah. 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 So, you don't need any experience. No okay. experience necessary. Right. Just bring, you know, a smile on your face mm -hmm. and your voice. Bring your family, bring your friends, yeah. and get ready for some fun, some singing, and of course, root beer float. Yes. Root beer float, yeah. The exciting yeah. part. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so the Saginaw Children's Zoo, families can get into reading this summer as well, which is so essential for kids during the yes. uh, summer break. Tell us a little bit about Drop Everything and Read. So we've got two big days at the zoo. We have okay. Tuesday, the root beer choir, mm -hmm. and then Wednesday, Drop Everything and Read, or as most people know it as Deer Day. Yeah. And that, again, is at the Children's Zoo. It's from 10 a.m to 5 p.m. on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Great opportunity oh, to keep nice. your kids interested in reading over the summer. It's a day of storytelling um, from people throughout the community will be there reading. There's activities that are sponsored by all kinds of community organizations yeah. that are participating. And, uh, you know, some giveaways and, of course, the animals are there. Yeah. But I think one of the big things is that every child that comes will go home with a new book. Oh, that's awesome. And it's really fun because they put them all out on a table mm -hmm. and the kids will just pick through them and yeah. decide which one. Some kids pick one up right away and go, and others will be there a half an hour trying to decide. Right, what right. <laughs> so it's a great opportunity to do something with your, you know, your children, your grandchildren, mm -hmm. or even a neighbor yeah. um, to get them, you know, keep them involved in yeah. reading over the summer. And the Saginaw Eddie Concert Band is preparing for an upcoming performance. Tell us a little bit about this year's theme. Either one of you can answer this one. Yeah. Well, the, the theme this year, and I, it is escapes me That's the, the national, national it escapes me it i apologize me. but um they are starting their season this Sunday, okay. which is Father's Day. Mm -hmm. So great opportunity to bring your dad or your grandfather oh, nice. down yeah. to the Jolt Credit Union Event Park. Mm -hmm. And um, it's a free concert, 7 p.m. Bring a chair mm -hmm. because it's either that or a blanket on the lawn, mm -hmm. whichever you prefer. Uh, it's the Saginaw Eddie Concert Band. They are wonderful if you have not seen them. They yeah. are a full concert band. Uh, many professional musicians in this band. Nice. So we're very, very fortunate to have them. But each week is a different theme. Next yeah. week we'll be prepared. No, you're prepared <laughs> now. Our producer <laughs> just told, told, told me in my ear. Pre Becky, tell us again. The, the National, National Game. Game. Okay, you just need a little go. reminder. Yeah. So, yeah. So, it's, I'm guessing it's all about baseball. Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah, so, come on down. And, like I said, Father's Day. Yes. Yeah, a great treat for that. Dad to yeah. And then come to the concert. I love that. Yeah. So, next week, our country is commemorating Juneteenth, which is so exciting. Mm -hmm. uh, what are some celebrations? Oh, there are so many happening here in Saginaw. So, uh, we are going to start off with the Freedom Parade. Yeah. Um, it's going to start off between the Saginaw Children's Zoo and the Hoyt Park. I believe the lineup is at 9 a.m. If you want to register to be in the parade, you have to check out the Saginaw Juneteenth Celebration.com. Mm -hmm. And it starts at 11 a.m. They will march all the way down to the Old Farmer's Market. Nice. Mm -hmm. And then once the parade is over, just head on down to the Morley Plaza right mm -hmm. by the Temple Theater. It is the Juneteenth Celebration. Nice. 
There will be live entertainment, uh, food trucks, vendors, and a lot of fun activity for the kids. A good time. So it's going to be a busy, busy Saturday. Yeah, it's awesome. And for all our poets out there, something special is coming up. Tell us about uh, the Spoken Voices Project. What's that? Well, okay. it's an open mic. Uh, it will be held at Theodore Red Key's Home and Museum. Nice. Uh, it starts at 7 p.m., I believe. Okay. You can register online or at the door. Mm -hmm. And I know they you must be 18 or older or be accompanied by an adult. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty much go up and speak about, you know, poetry. Yeah. <laughs> And for those who don't know, Theodore Retke mm -hmm. was a Pulitzer Prize winning mm -hmm. poet based right here in Saginaw. Mm -hmm. So we're very fortunate to be able to say we have a Pulitzer Prize winning poet yeah. from our area. And the home and museum was his childhood mm -hmm. home. That's it was awesome. where he was born and raised. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, he went on to do great things in the world of poetry. And mm -hmm. uh, this is kind of wrapping up a series of workshops that they've had mm -hmm. over the last mm -hmm. couple weeks. But it is open to the public as Demetrius said, um, you know, you can register, you can show up, but if you're registered, then you'll definitely be there nice. and have You time. got your spot. Nice. Yeah. All right, anything else that you guys want to add? Well, tonight, there's one more thing going on at the YMCA. It oh, is yeah, this, the concert. Yes, concert for yeah. a cause. It, they had one last night. They've got one tonight. Nice. I believe tonight is blues, uh, oh, rock and nice. blues. And, of course, it's right down on the river at the mm -hmm. YMCA. And uh, bring a chair. There's also food trucks, uh, pop-up vendors, and uh, STEM activities for the family. Mm -hmm. So, you know, great, great fun tonight. It's yeah. going to be a beautiful Friday night for that. And we encourage everybody to go to either our Facebook page, which okay. is mm -hmm. Arts Saginaw, uh, to find the latest and greatest in terms of what's going on. We'll post uh, everything for the week ahead. Mm -hmm. And you can also visit our website at artsaginaw.org mm -hmm. to get a PDF of the entire yeah. calendar. And so we're very happy to be here, and we thank TV5 oh, for your support. You. Yeah, mm -hmm. we love having you guys come in. And then if someone wants to pick up yes. a physical nifty little calendar, where can they get these from? Well, they can pick these up throughout the community. We At our them. building. Okay. Yep. Our building, Anderson Enrichment Center, we mm -hmm. always have them. The zoo has them, nice. and they're there next week. Mm -hmm. The YMCA, we have them at many venues throughout the community. Nice. And you can always pick one up at the public libraries. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. So. Well, Marsha, Demetrius, it's always great to see you guys. Um, so, yeah, thanks so much for being here. Thank, Thank you. you. And get yes. out and enjoy the yes. summer. Yes. Be a yes. yes. Thank so. you again. So, you can find more information in the hot link section of our website, WNEM.com.